I'm the Quacken Dragon, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode 4, and Jeep's Clothing. And we are going to look at our book of fables first before we get started with this episode. <laughs> so, let's see. The Jersey Devil, yes, yes, yes. Not all the fables who came to this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the farthest corners of the earth, and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State of Garden State to the Empire State, such as the Jersey Jersey Devil. Reports of its experience, uh, appearance have varied, although most accounts make mention of leathery wings. But an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. Oh, is it Woody's axe? The <laughs> woodsman axe. Uh, once just a simple tool for felling trees, the axe became much more. Uh, when it was in Sorceville by druids and marked with their runes. But it truly became an object of legend when the woodsman used it to slice the big bad wolf from nave to neck. Ah, uh, thanks. In protection of Little Red Riding Hood. It may carry old world charm, but its simplicity of design and quality workmanship make it an effective tool or weapon even today. Uh, Johan? I thought it was the other guy. Maybe that was Hans or something. I don't know. His name is often said in the same breath as that of the baker and candlestick, make candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other tradesmen, Johan, the butcher's storefront, has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business has fallen in hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd, as the quality of his products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked, crooked man. Some have stated to wonder, uh, started <laughs> to wonder if they ever really knew Johan. Blue Bear's money. <laughs> One might think that Blue Bear donates funds to the Fable Town government for nefar nefarious purposes. I would think so seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in government proceedings but what he really wants is stability and strength uh, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned Fabletown exists to insulate him from the Monday world as much as his money can be a sword it also serves as a shield okay so uh, I can believe that it's more you know still for his purposes but you know Alright, let's open this door! Knock, knock! Oh. Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Lost cat! No! Oh, okay. Let's. Uh oh. Well, it moved again. Crap. <laughs> it feels like the final boss. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Hello? Tim. Uh, what the hell are you doing here? Tim, as in. Sure. I'm here to take you to the boss. Uh, Thanks, by the way. For leaving off tiny. Uh, don't shake. We're enemies! <laughs> I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? Yeah. I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. Really? <laughs> I can. I'm supposed to bring you right on in. So if you'll come this way. Okay. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead on. Like, I won't make your job harder. Da, 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 pointy shoes. Normal shoes. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. Well, at least that's all he I does. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone. Oh, don't be mean. Like you. It's I'm sure he's not a ninja. Like that. Whatever you may think of him, oh. he doesn't treat me like some 
broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. Mm. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Mm. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Like I was saying, I think. <laughs> it's like, la 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 la. Some of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. Hmm. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. <sighs> Wait for him, man. Thanks. <laughs> What the? What can you do for me? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Tell me who the fuck is back I'm there. <laughs> okay. I I don't exactly know. I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is there. He'll come around. I might that cringe for him. And okay. Tony will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. I oh. live smart enough to see this is for the best. Or dim enough to do me solid. I thought you'd be more useful too. <laughs> and made into a rat for me dinner. That won't be necessary. Okay. <laughs> Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thanks to hello, everyone. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> everyone I made angry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm gonna start something. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. At least he's nice to Tim. Freaking almost killed me. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> ah, this Whether can only go teacher, good. We have a great deal to discuss. Uh, Alright, let's talk. Let's let's try. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. <laughs> no, don't tell you that's the end. God dang it! <laughs> ah! Stories about you. In the old days, how you picked out those men one by one. Oh, well, sorry. The one is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you would give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <gasps> oh well. Uh oh. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Alright, did you send Colin to the farm? Of course not. God dang it. Man, if I had known that was the end, I would just continue recording. But whatever. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? No, good. <laughs> She didn't explode. <laughs> Much crooked operation. Okay, so a lot of people went to the butcher first. Cool. Did you send Toad to the farm? Yeah, I mean, I told him that he had a choice. Uh, how did you respond? Oh, <laughs> so a lot of people did not want to talk to him. <laughs> well, you know, we're a good noodle. We're gonna try. We're trying to make Tiny Tim happy. I mean, he's not tiny, but you know. Alright, continue. But anyway, we're gonna start on episode 5. So, Cry Wolf, this is the last episode. Um, I'm very excited and scared because of what happened. So, let's see uh, previously on Dragon Ball Z Wolf. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. Oh, wow. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? We're going way back. Oops. <laughs> Not if I can avoid it. Wow. 
Why they die? No. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. I do. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. <laughs> Oop, no! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, <laughs> warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> she got Mary's a little messed up. <laughs> oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Oh god. <laughs> this can only go well. Cry wolf. All right. You've come a long way. Yeah. You must be tired. A little bit. <laughs> I'm a little broken. <laughs> and if my envoys are correct, <laughs> you haven't had a lot of rest recently. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Love you too. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? He has a gun. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No. Not Vivian a tap. Very nice. Very. It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. Mm. It's lobster. Lobster is good. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? I want answers. Yeah. What do you what? think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah, sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? Uh... You to settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. <laughs> Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Uh... Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. <laughs> oh, Jersey. <laughs> That's a fucking lie. I didn't say anything like That's that. Fine. Yeah, you did. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. All right? That's it. <laughs> if only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Mary? It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you. An unfortunate bit of business? You're going to tell me right now who killed them. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Really? 
I thought you were being nice. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. Who is it? No. I'm guessing I'm it's Mary. With it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation. Shut up. You want to follow your brother's footsteps? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? Hey. That's enough. You did it. I was it. hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance. Uh-huh. If you have to know, it was Georgie. Oh! Excuse you. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Yeah. Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But okay. you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. Oh. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. Uh... This is right, bollocks, sis. Oh, God. You're just going to let him do this? Do what? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? Uh, I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one who who the shit do you think you fuckers are out the fuck out of here? I do apologize, <laughs> Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Uh... You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. But he's oh. not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. Uh oh. Crap. <laughs> to speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Ah, uh, here's the real. Oh, crap. Mary! <laughs> Hi, crazy person. Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Ah! Oh crap. <laughs> this is a problem. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is not fair. Over here. Crap. Oh. Oh. You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got you. Oh, God. Ooh. No. Ah! <laughs> no! Ooh. Ooh. This is just going ugly. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Ah! Shit. I know. I know. 
Hey, what's up? It me. That wolf. Oh crap. Mine! <laughs> You're going with me! Hand me the car! Pull over! <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> This is a problem. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> 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 I don't like this part. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh man, I am making a mess. <laughs> A bad noodle. <laughs> Aha! I see them. Up. Oh, I didn't time it right. I pushed up. Whatever. Just my size. <laughs> da da da. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, that was excessive for no reason. Oh, why do I need to see his car? Holy shit. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Let's go! And we go. And we go up. We're going in. Hi. What up? You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. We're all in trouble. Hello, Big B. Hi. I hope you come to your senses. Crooked man's the one you want. Yeah. Of course. You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Sure. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Then we'll both it take you. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't <laughs> talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You Hi. can't fucking blame me for that! Look! Why'd you do it then, huh? 
it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Yeah. Look, Someone say something. Nathan the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. Hmm. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. And so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can I mean, I'm both. your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. I'm going to get both of you. You're still go a bad... Me, then. But it okay. won't bring back Lily or Faye. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the no. bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. I didn't say that. Oh, oh, oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What? They explode? What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me if freeing Lily meant she had to die. Hmm. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you. Wait. How is she involved in all this? This is the original. Huh? The girl what? with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. I you see. wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers. The spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same it thing that dies? happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. <laughs> Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Oh, God. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. Uh -oh. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, well, I mean... do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Vivian, wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Narissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Uh -oh. Vivian. No don't. Crap. Oh. Vivian. Do <gasps> no. Fuck. No, oh. no, no, no. God. Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian. Shit. Oh my gosh. Wow. Huh? Vivian. What? I didn't fucking mean it. I was just. Oh, oh crap! They're oh. both gonna die on me. Ah, oh, crap! Oh. 
sad. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck! Get up. Ah! Get up! Don't I don't think like so, baby. I don't think he can. <laughs> Is this a little bit die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. I didn't do anything. <laughs> really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Don't worry about the crooked <sighs> man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river, all right? Oh. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Thanks. You want to finish me off now? No. <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs <laughs> off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Sure it's not. No it's not. games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Uh -huh. I don't know what I did. No, leave him to die. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. What? You're just gonna leave me here. I can't do it, Georgie. I can't take another life. You selfish bastard. Fuck you! Shit. Well, you were mean to me, but still, it is kind of messed up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, it went as well as could be expected, I guess. <laughs> well, Okay, so a lot has happened. Um, let me pause once again, just in case. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, okay. We're just gonna do all that, but uh, okay, we're definitely tying loose ends. <laughs> but dang, so yeah, so... Is that what happened if you took off... Narissa's ribbon? Freaking a head fall off? Oh my goodness. So, technically, they didn't, like, so all they did was rip the ribbon off. It, that sucks. <laughs> it's like, ah! But anyway, <laughs> so we'll see you in the next episode what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trauma field episode I, there's just no words <laughs> but um yeah like and subscribe for more wolf among us and uh to support the channel until next time have a wonderful day